Hello everyone, I am Maester Mike, and I am back for more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Blind. In the last episode, Peach has arrived at the town of Rogueport, and has gone missing. And we arrived to save her, but we don't know where she is. We've met up with this Goomba girl named Goombella. I'm gonna hammer her in the head just for fun. So we saved her from these weird people led by this weird person named Lord Crump. And so we're going to find Goombella's, Goombella's Goomba professor, Professor Flank, frankly. So let's just check around here. This is a pretty nice little town. Let's talk to you, Goomther. This is Goomther, by the way. I'm looking for this guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. If you find that jerk, give him a wall. Give him a wall for me. Poor guy. We should do that. Hello, mouse. What do you have to say? <laughs> you smell that? This smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeed. Look, looks like my stars is finally starting to shine. Not that it's any of your business. Who's this guy? Mouse a million. Nice name. He sent out propositions that might make him that might make him loot. Or what? Did I read that right? That might make him loot. Okay, yeah, I read that right. With his nose for opportunity, he could really do well in the straight business world. But I guess no one in Rogue Court is really cut out for us the suit and tie life. What's over here? Freeze! You two! Not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch! Not an inch, you hear? That sounded more like a statement than a question. I wonder if she will find it. I'm gonna move an inch. Switch. Uh oh. Ah! Idiot! You stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking. I'm Mario. I don't think. This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens. But you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy! No, I won't compensate you, you old hag. Fine. Is that your plan? Then here's mine, you oaf! I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Well, she's very friendly. <laughs> I like her personality. She's really mean. Can you let us through? No! Look, I'm not letting you into the west part of town until you buy me a new lens. Sorry, but end of story. I can't cook anything without my, con without my contact lenses in. Ah! My rage is hot! so hot right now, I could cook you with it! What a jerk. You know, you could go buy some yourself, and, or, don't you have a pack that may have more than one contact in it? I don't know. She's a crazy old woman. Turf war between the Piazza Syndicate and the Robos heating up, apparently. Best stay indoors. That does not sound good. Do we have any money? 100 coins. Let's see what's in here. This is the inn that Toadsworth is staying at. Problem. Oi! I used to sail around and run wild in me younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go round, I used to go round exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. How do bomb bombs explode multiple times? They, they always seem to explode and then come right back perfectly alive the last time. They always seem to just explode multiple times. Hi, Mouse. Can't you take a hint, pal? Dot 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 means scram. Don't talk to me. I like how he's telling us that dot 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 means that. This looks gravel. I and this is the Skull Stone, the lucky charm of my family. I love you, you sparkly thing. It is so fabulous. I wish to give it great big kisses. It never leaves my sight. Never. Okay. Can I take it? Can I take it? Fine. Hello, person who looks like maybe a bean from the Bean Bean Kingdom or something. Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Podley Place, a humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. By the by, there's an inn upstairs. When you're ready, go upstairs and relax. Let's do that. We have one health point missing, so let's do that. Goombella, are you going to follow me? Why are you stuck on that stair? She's stuck. Let's just leave her. Looks like this place is leaky. Yeah, there she is. Welcome to the lone refuge of this port of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. It only costs five coins to spend the night. Would you care for a bed? I'll stay, yes. Enjoy your stay. Let's take a rest. Kinda sucks in this game, you have to pay for sleeping. In the first game, you could just do it for free. Excuse me, had a little burp. 
Good morning. Did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out and there and face the world. See you again. She doesn't have a name. I wanted to see if she had a name. Hello, Toastworth. Oh, where in the world could the princess have gotten to? This is quite troubling, indeed. Does that book tell us anything? Nope, it doesn't. Let's go out here onto the rock. There's stuff out here to do, and... Not a whole lot. Open at 11 a.m. today. That gets closed, so... Just go on this rough. Why do you keep getting caught? Fine, I'm leaving you. Goodbye, Goomba... Goombella. Hello, Goomba. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until uh, about three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down, and I needed a hideout, so I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so sly. You'll be so sly when I... T when I... When I frame you. Oh, how do you feel about that, Mr. Goomba man? You should feel... You should feel very... Bad. Not gonna quick retorts. Where are you? The suspicious Dugan. These guys are called Dugans, apparently. What did she say about... That's a suspicious Dugan. Craves that one big score, but I doubt it will happen. I mean, even if he did make the money, he'll... He just blow it. He depresses me. I'm, I'm not gonna talk to him. Let's go in here. Doesn't look like there's anything here, except... What's that? Ooh, a star piece! Nice. This is a gross, filthy place, and I don't want to be in here, so let's get out. Star pieces, if you know the first game, they let you trade stuff for badges, which you can equip and get good stats and bonuses for battle. But we don't have any badges right now, and star pieces shouldn't do anything right now. That flower door is where we buy items. We don't need any items, let's just go on. Let's just save our money. Ah! Oops, pardon me, sucker! Hey! What's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you! What's wrong? Mario, you gotta wake up! That guy just stole half your, your coins! Oh no! Rip off! That is so lame! Ugh, I hate this town! Can we go find him? I wonder if we can go find him. Let's go find him. Where is he? Is he back behind this alley? I... I'd expect him to be. Let's talk to you, what do you say? Dang, yesterday I blew through 100 coins at the parlor. You believe me? But not next time, ha man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. Yeah, may the odds ever be in your favor, man. What I just did was I kissed my fingers and held it up sky skyward, like in the Hunger Games. <laughs> Since he said that... I had... I just had to do it. Anything back here? No? Yes? No? Is he hiding in here? Yes, he is. Hello, you. Oops! Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay? You got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Well, thank you. Let me give you a newsflash. Even the innocent-looking people in this town are thieves. So don't come crumb grumbling to me about losing a little pocket change, okay, buddy? I'm gonna grumble to you right now. Boom, boom, boom. Ha! How do you feel about that? You should feel bad for stealing from people. I have... I already did some of this in a... in a bad... in a recording that I... that I re deleted. It's not that it was bad, well, I just don't think it turned out so well and I deleted it. I never got my coins back, so I never knew about that. So anyway, let's move on finally. Hey, you big old Ruby, or Rube. It ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go nuts and attack. Be careful, and live longer. Doomfree. This is kind of shady, I guess, but he's cool. People call him a fixer. You know, a guy that can make any problem just go away. What's going on over here? Hello, Birdman. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishnail. Head of the Robos, it's ten coins to pass through here. You truly pass the, you try to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you good. I'm I'm not paying. It's really simple. If you don't pay, you don't pass. You can opt you can opt to fight him, but that's pretty at at the level we're at, which is level one, he's really strong, and so I so I recommend you don't fight him. 
I tried that before on the recording that I didn't want to sh that I deleted. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying to say, it, it was a bad recording, I didn't like it. So yeah, this is a new recording. I know a little bit about this game up until like, chapter 1 begins, so... Well, let's just head on. What's in here? It must be Professor Frankly. Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly. What's that? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you. Now you, uh... I've seen your face before. Yes, that's face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence! I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goombriel. There, it's not Elizagoom. Hmm. Err. <gasps> Aha! I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year. Am I right? Wow, yes, sir. That's me. I'm Goombella, a uh, junior. You're a Goomba at you, Goom. Go, Goombas! Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. Yeah, you are. Just keep lying to yourself. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you are an, such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? Don't you know Mario? He does that thumbs up. That's his signature move. Mario! Professor, he's Mario. You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Roveport. I thought if it, that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study the very subject. But why do you types want to learn about a legendary treasure? You know that most say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary tre treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. I almost gave him my Toadsworth voice. I almost did that in my last, in my original recording of this, too. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a, ma it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to divine the truth among them. Well, we'll find the truth at the end of this game. You know how these games work. But I'll agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand-year door. You mean the crystal stars in that old thing? In that old thing that super elderly people pass down? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must first collect the seven stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand-year door, then the stars will light the way to lead to the stones of yesterday. Yeah! A lot of the lore I've read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct! And the thousand-year door is supposedly here, deep beneath the town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not exactly you. Not we, exactly. Mario has the map. What? Really? You, you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Here you go. Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! Give me that back now. You, son, are my hero! You're great, fantastic, wonderful even! Oh, please don't kiss me, too! With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door! Right on, Professor! Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here, then? Goombella, Mario, off we must go this instant! Let's take the ma magical map to the legendary door! <laughs> that scene is finally over! Man. That was actually kind of fun, doing all that voice acting. So now let's take them all in the... Probably the only time in the Paper Mario series we'll, where we'll have three part, party members at this at the same time. Although, Professor Frankly doesn't do anything in battle, which is a shame. It'd be kind of funny to see if, what he could do in battle. Anyway, let's just go out. <laughs> that was kind of hurting my mouth. 
talking all that much. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came up, did you? Heh. <laughs> Where did the fence go? It just dropped into the ground. We can use this pipe to get down under the city streets! Come on, both of you, let's get moving! Alright, alright. We're coming. Oh wait, hang on a second! Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so, uh, keep your guard up. You two know about your action command, don't you? I do, so, yeah. Really? A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once, just to be safe? Uh, yeah, I... I think we should already know how things work out. We'll go... We'll get more experience with battles as we go along, and I'll... This battle system should be pretty much the same as the first game, so... Actually, let's just do it. Hm, positively shocking. In that case, you ought to take a second to learn them. We'll have a little practice session. Goombella, you will be Mario's opponent. What? Me? Are you nuts? Oh, gee, um, uh, okay. I'll do my best, I guess. Battle time! Huh, ah, it's hurting my jaw doing this voice acting. Now, uh, we'll practice jumping. So let's practice. It should be simple, as we know. It tells us how, it tells us the little details right down there at the ground. And I like how in these games, how they tell you, how they tell you to just stop like that and you just stop right in the air just just before you're about to do a special move. So if you're reading this, uh... Press A right now. That's how to do a guard. I, pre I think I explained it somewhat well enough in the last video, but... You should... Well... Yeah. Didn't know what to say. Again. Sorry, I'm just really blanking out as to what to say. So yeah, I already showed what to do in the first episode. And I think I'll explain more as we go along. So yeah, hold left, control stick left, and let go. I already let go, you didn't need to say that. Alright, this is actually something I could tell you about. Goombella, attack me. Come at me, miss. Instead of pressing A to guard, press B, and like this. Aha! We hurt her! I'm sorry, Goombella, I didn't mean to do that. The super guard is... The super guard, as it, he says, we take no damage and we can damage the enemy, too. But super guards are harder to do than regular guards, so... You have to know when to when to use both effectively, and that concludes Action Commands 101. Ha ha ha! Sorry, profes professorial humor. How's that word say? Um, whatever. I can't go back. If you're in a text box and you want to read some of the text that you just already passed, you can press D to go up. But we can't do that here. I don't want to practice any and it anymore. Well, I, I do believe now we are all set for our quest, hmm? So down below we go. Hop up onto the pipe and tilt down to enter the pipe. And we shall do that in the next episode. We shall see what's down... What's down below under the pipe. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you later. Bye.